let's take this idea up a notch and what do you think we would want to do looking at this multiplication problem? We've got in the first set of parentheses two terms and in the second set of parentheses again two terms and what do we do when we need to multiply two terms by two terms? It has to be FOIL method. Now with these radical problems the FOIL method can become uh, well there's just going to be a lot going on here so I take my time even more than I would if I'm just foiling something like x plus 2 times x plus 8. So this is how I like to set things up. I'm going to give myself a lot of space room to write out exactly what I'm multiplying with each of these steps in FOIL. And again, be very cautious with our signs that in this spot, this term right here, I'm seeing a negative 4 radical 2. So let's get to FOIL. First, it's going to be 2 radical 6 times 3 radical 3. And yes, I'm going to do a lot of writing because I've decided at this point, for me, it's worth it. I know if I write it all out, I come up with an accurate answer. And if I don't write things out, I sometimes get off path, so it's worth it to me to actually write things out this much. Okay, this, here's our first multiplication. What are our thoughts about multiplying radicals? It's the outsiders together and multiply the insiders together. That's getting us to 6 radical 18. I'm always thinking about simplifying radicals, so I'm going to do that right away. This 18 if I think of prime factors, 2 times 3 times 3, we've got this pair of 3's. We'll bring 1, 3 out of the radical, and we're always multiplying. So it's multiply the 3 times that 6 to give us an 18, and we have a 2 left over in the radical. Seems like a lot, and that's just our first step of FOIL. But these are common problems, and we want to just have an organized way of doing these that's going to keep us accurate. So the next is outer 2 radical 6 times this positive radical 6. Okay, outsiders. I have just a 2 on the outside. We're going to bring that outside in our answer. The insiders, we have 6 times 6 is 36. Can we simplify that radical? Yes, square root of 36 is just a 6. And if you spotted that we're doubling up 6s here, so it's going to give us back just a regular 6, I think it's it's fine to make that jump that you don't have to look at this as a square root of 36 and then turn it into a 6 but as I always say if it's helpful if it keeps us accurate then we do it so I I really take my time and I multiply these 6's to equal a, a radical 36 and then I'll simplify it and this 2 times 6 will give us a 12 so our outer step of FOIL is giving us a result of positive 12 Okay, moving along to the inner step, cautious with the signs, we're multiplying negative 4 radical 2 by 3 radical 3. The outsiders together will give us a negative 12, and the insiders together will give us radical 6. Can we simplify this radical? If I think about in the radical, this 6, will I find any pairs of factors? And I'm only going to find 1, 2, and 1, 3. So that radical cannot be simplified. It's as simplified as it's going to get as negative 12 radical 6. And we'll move right on to the last step. Negative 4 radical 2 times radical 6, a positive radical 6. Our outsiders, again, it's, it's just one outsider again. It's negative 4 this time. And the insiders, 2 times 6 radical 12. Can we simplify this radical 12? If we look for the factors, we'll have 2, 2, and 3. So, yep, a pair of factors, a pair of 2's. So we're going to bring 1, 2 out of the radical to multiply to the negative 4. That'll give us a negative 8 on the outside. And this 3 is going to remain inside of the radical. Okay. After we do FOIL, and, and similar to the FOIL we used to do just with nicer binomials, once we did the four multiplications, we looked at the four results and said, do we have any like terms that we can combine? And, and this is a, a question we're, again, trying to get into the habit of asking ourselves before we say that this problem is complete. So we're looking for like terms, and we don't have any. The three terms that have a radical part have three different radicands, so they're definitely not like terms, 
and they definitely cannot be added to a number that does not have a radical part. So we have four terms that are not like, so we have four terms that will show up in our answer. So let's just make some room there. There's our problem up, moved it up. So we're going to write our answer in this space right here. There's our final answer for this FOIL problem.